as I walk home from school, the heat becomes even worse. I thought it was bad in school, but now there's nothing to protect me from the sun bearing down upon my back. In many parts of Somalia, climate change has become a serious problem. It causes famine and long-lasting droughts that affect both the country's economy and spirits. My name is Hani. I'm 13 years old and I live in Somalia. I live in a cylindrical hut with my family and grandmother. Unfortunately, my grandfather died two years ago from one of the riots in the capital, Mogadishu. He exceeded the average life expectancy, though, living past 53 years into 61. I have seven siblings, and my oldest brother dropped out of school to help my mom and grandmother take care of us, which is very common for other boys his age. He works with my father in a textile mill. They both earn a considerable amount for the town we live in. Somalia's GDP is 1,110, which is very low. The rest of my siblings and I still attend school near the capital, and right now we're learning all about Somalia's history. Last week, my class learned about colonization. Italy and Britain both began to colonize Somalia around the same time, and this caused altercations between the two countries. Britain gained control of the northern part of Somalia in the late 19th century after various treaties with Somali chiefs. Italy followed suit, gaining the southern area. Multiple wars began between the two countries, ending when Italy gave up their rights to their territory. Britain requested to join the two portions of the land to create a singular country. This was achieved in 1960. Other than that class, there aren't many more I can take. I'd love to take an art class or learn how to paint, but our school doesn't have the resources. I'm lucky to have food at home, but we barely have enough to feed the whole family. Eight million people in Somalia, over half the population, are facing the same food struggles in my family. But if I could pick my meal, I'd probably choose either kimis or baris, some of the most popular dishes in my country. Baris is the national dish of Somalia, and it's sort of like rice. Countrywide hunger is not the only problem in Somalia. In fact, Somalia is known as a failed country because of the many problems it faces. Around a month ago, we had a huge flood. It displaced over 700,000 people, including my friend and her family. They dropped out of school and now live on the streets. Because of the lack of government, some schools cost money. But I try to stay in school because my mom says a good education is really important. But those aren't even the end of our problems. Due to a civil war, the streets are really dangerous. When I walked home from school yesterday, I heard gunshots. Also, over 75% of people have been faced with different forms of gender-based violence. It's hard to pick out the worst problem among the many that my country faces, but the biggest one I would say is climate change. Lately, I've been feeling the effects more and more. I used to have a goat that provided milk that I sold, but it died because of the heat and lack of water. Only 48% of the country has access to clean water, but we barely have any water to spare because we have to take care of our livestock and crops, which usually end up dead. One drought in 2011 when I was born killed 43,000 people. Somalia is one of the lowest in climate emissions, but ranked number two in the world for exposure to climate change. There are many problems in Somalia. Floods, famine, and droughts. All of these issues are brought out by climate change. And if we solve this, we can solve many of the hardships my country faces. But if no one changes anything soon, it will be too late. Somalia is not the only place in Africa facing these problems. Many other neighboring countries are involved with the same difficulties, and we must find solutions soon.